Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Gmail account directly to n so you can send uh, emails from your Gmail account directly and create automations or AI agents around it. So let's just quickly test this step. If I execute this workflow. So I have connected my personal Gmail account and I'm sending an email from that to my company email. And as soon as we executed this, if I go to my company email, you can see I have automatically uh, got this particular message that I set up in my uh, automation. So this is very useful uh, if you want to just automate your own email or if you want to automate your business email or whatever it is. Now, let's see how we connect this. It's a bit complex process, but yeah, once you do it for one email, you would be able to do it for all your emails. So first off, uh, you have to go to this site. It says console.cloud.google.com. Once you go there, uh, just click on like go to the main page, right? And then I have already connected this account. So I'm going to change this account uh, with the new one that I want to connect. Uh, yeah, so this is the new one that I want to connect. Now, this is pretty simple. Um, OK, so what you have to do is click on this API and services. And also just uh, it would be better to create a new project. So let's just first create a new project. Uh, name it something like n mm, gmail or just name it n i'll just name it n and x um, no organization just click on create let it just load once it's done just go to your particular project that you want then click on api and services now you will click on auth uh, consent screen Click on get, get started and just name it. You can name it and it and Gmail. Use the same email that you have logged in here that you want to connect to your n account. So same email uh, external. If this is a company email, if you have workspace account, then you will use internal. Otherwise, you will just use external. Again, the same email. And yep. Okay, once that's done, uh, you will just, okay, before that, let's just um, turn on the API for Gmail. So you will search something like Gmail, yeah, Gmail API. Let's just enable this as well. Let it load. Mm -hmm. Once that's done, again, go back to your auth consent screen. Here you will click on create auth client application type web application name it um again i'm just gonna name it any gmail just and here you have to add a uri or url so how you will get this so basically you will go back to your any account uh just open this uh, gmail node and here i already have like two accounts now i'm gonna click on oh sorry just click on this and click on create new credential let it be auth2. Copy this right here. And now go back and in this one. Don't select this one, JavaScript one. Select this one and uh, just save it or create it. Now you got your client ID. You can just copy this. <clears throat> go back here, paste it right there and click on OK. Now you have to go to audience. Now basically you are going to add yourself again here. So just add yourself. Com. All right, now you have added yourself. Once you have added yourself, uh, you will uh, click on data access. And here you will click on add and remove scopes. Then you will go to the last page and you will just add all the uh, Gmail APIs. So just like this. Okay. All right. Do we have all the Gmail APIs? Yes, we do. OK, so just update it. And I think, yeah, just click on save. Don't forget to click on save, guys. Um, now, just go back to clients. Here you have your Gmail. Um, here you will get your client secret and your client ID that you already got. But we are going to just copy that anyway. 
once more the same one and now the client secret go here paste it and now just click on sign in with google you should be logged in with your gmail account that you want to you know access through this uh, for this to work so just make sure you are just continue don't click on back to safety and here just continue everything and that's it that's uh, that is literally all so let's just test it quickly um, the connection so now instead of my uh, personal account I want to send from this new account let me just name it as well you know it's k r w a n g com so it's this one save this okay so um, we are going to send an email from this account to my company email so let's see which one is it okay from this to this all right so let's just execute this and test it so executing this once again now let's just check all right i got an email from my another email that i have and if i go to send i can see i've sent this email automatically uh, without doing anything so pretty cool and that was all for this video and wait for the next one